St. James is a great, friendly community. People pull together, people come together. We've got the history, you've got the school district, and then the tourism. It has values of love, taking care of people. The thing that really speaks to me about St. James is that a lot of the nice things from St. James comes from within St. James. For a small community, we have a lot, such as Merrimack Springs. We have some great restaurants. We have some great history within the town. So I think there's a lot here to offer for a small town in Missouri. If there's one word to use to describe St. James, Missouri, it's unexpected. Many know this town for its famed winery, and for a good reason. But it's just the beginning of all this town has to offer both visitors and residents alike. Join us as we take a look. There was two pipes that went into the, the sides of this furnace, and they used the water power to pump air into the furnace, and that's where it gets the name, the blast furnace. Your blast. The ironworks kind of went out of business in 1978. It was very dilapidated, a lot of stuff was falling apart. So in 1941, the James Foundation was created, and so then they partnered with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and together we've had a, a kind of long-standing partnership to create a trout park. No other place in, in the country has this, where fish are stocked every single day. They're stocked at 12 and a half inches, and they put in around 120,000 rainbow trout every single year. While Merrimack Spring provides one of the most beautiful spots in Missouri for nature lovers, St. James Winery is a Missouri mainstay. And in addition to being one of the biggest draws for this area, it's also a major pillar of the community because of its involvement and dedication to its people and to this place. So this uh, 38 Degrees North is also a blend, which has several grapes that are from the experimental blocks of our vineyards. Dry, sweet. This is dry. This one's dry. This region has been crucial to one of the winemaking regions in Missouri. Wine, food, culture, art, events, I think that's what makes this community like really tight knit. We're all interested in the same things and that's making St. James better and brighter. You know, St. James Winery, they took a risk opening a winery in the middle of Missouri in 1970, and it's really become a cornerstone where people know St. James because of the winery, and they've enjoyed those wines for the last 50 years now. Aside from having unique and truly spectacular destinations, this community's strength comes from the can-do spirit and unparalleled dedication of its people, who are always ready to help community members in need or support a new business in town. All the items that you see here are donated items. And what we do then with the money that we receive is that we provide benevolent services. It's called a senior center, but we want anybody to be able to use the facilities. So there's exercise equipment, they, we serve lunch there. Okay, ladies. Hi. Hi. So this is our staff for the kitchen, and they have been here for over two years. They do wonderful things here, make food like grandma cooks, and that's what we want, nutritious, healthy food. The involvement with our community is that we provide the services, but the people in the community bring all these items in for us to sell. If we didn't have things to sell, we wouldn't generate the funds. Just like wine, a wine from France, tastes totally different than a wine from St. James, Missouri. Like that, regions have everything to do with flavor. When we did our soft open here, it was in the middle of 2020, and we kept on delaying our soft open, and we were terrified. And I told Julie, I was like, hey, if one person walks through the door within the next month or two, we'll have grown Leatherwood 100%. What's crazy is, is we opened up, Julia said, hey, I'm gonna go get some lunch. If you get busy, just give me a call. And she chuckled because literally we just opened the door and no one knew about we, us. We didn't tell anybody no. before. 
she walked out that door and 15 minutes later, a whole string of people, of business owners and people passionate about something new in the community, it literally made me feel like this is gonna work. This, we might have some hope in this dream that we have. I think that St. James is a really unexpected uh, treasure in the middle of Missouri. We've got kind of all of this art and culture coming together, but still have like a rural feel to it. Because as a younger person, staying in a small town doesn't always have the biggest appeal. For me, what I really love about this town is that energy and, and where I feel like, hey, I can make an impact. I think there's a big sense of pride for St. James as well as St. James schools. Uh, I think that's reflective in how many students come back and want to be a part of this community. It really is quite extraordinary to see how all of these different pieces of the community, the people, the businesses, the historic sites and attractions, all work together and rely on one another to succeed. This combination is proudly referred to as the St. James Way, which creates stability, inspires creativity, and ensures this community's strength and spirit will continue on for generations to come. I love waking up here and I love going to bed here. Uh, there's so much for us as to do um, as a family. That's what led us here to this community. And it's so accessible to many other, other places, St. Louis, Jefferson City, Springfield, Branson. Um, but this is where I like to wake up and go to bed. <laughs>